catch you made on, on Sunday? Where does that rank among the best, best practice catches you've made in your career? Oh, one. Yeah, right up there. It was a great catch. I mean, I just went out there, you know, routine play, try to make the best out of it. It turned out great. Is that, is that a type of catch that every receiver kind of wants to make? It's, it's yeah, kind of those are the ones you like, kind of dream about, you know. Like seeing the NFL, like Antonio Brown, those great guys making those kind of catches. So just being one of the guys making those was just great. You know? What would it mean to kind of make a play like that in the game? Yeah, it would mean like better than, you know, what it is in practice, you know, just going out there and making that in the game. You know, that's sports in the top ten. Do you think you could be one of the best receivers in the nation? Yeah, no doubt. You know, if I keep if I keep working hard, you know, I mean, help my team the best way I can, no doubt. That's what I'm striving for, yeah. So what lessons have you learned from Coach Spurrier, his first year position coach? What's, what's he taught you that you didn't know before the season, I guess before he came here? Oh uh, Yeah, he taught me, like, you know, routine things that a lot of coaches say, you know, that are kind of, like, in, ingrained in your head, you know, keep making the routine plays, you know. Just the basic stuff that you got to keep in your mind the whole time you're playing, you know, just going out there. Because it's about having fun, but also you got to keep the little things in mind so you can be great, you know. Being from the South, did, did you know a lot about his dad growing up? Chris no, nah, I didn't, but I, I looked. I looked into it, and I felt, and I, you know, I found out that his dad was like a Heisman uh, winner, you know, quarterback. So yeah, that was great to, you know, be around, you know, a guy like that. You know, he's been around success like that, so it's great, you know. You ask him stories about it, about, about, about his dad's career. No, I haven't. I haven't. I should though. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> What's it like to, with Gardner out there? He seems to bring kind of a certain spark. He's, he's kind of a bulldog. Man, yeah, spark. yeah. He's a he's a great you know he's a great guy. You know he always pushes us. You know make sure we're doing the right things. And he holds us accountable. So I love playing with the guy, man. He's yeah, a great leader, for sure. And, and then also, what have you seen from, from Calvin Jackson? He made a few plays today, and he's kind of been consistent throughout. Yeah, Calvin's doing a real good job. You know, he's he's getting the playbook down both sides, X and Z. So he's gonna he's looking to play a lot this year, and I hope he does some good things for us. Yeah, he's a fast guy, and I think he can help us out a lot. For sure. How, how would you rate his performance in the, the Netflix show? Did you watch it? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I rated a ten, man. I think the guy is outstanding, man. For real. Is, is it kind of surreal to see a teammate on on, on there and? Yeah, it was. Cause, I mean, I'm used to watching those shows a lot, Last Chance You. So, I mean, it's just to see that guy being on that show and coming to Washington State, it was, like, kind of surreal, man. But my brother was also on there, too, so, like, yeah. Brother is a brother? Or? Yeah, he played He played against him on the um, on the TV show, actually, Dodge City. So, yeah. It was a good episode. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate yeah. it.